Hey guys, welcome to Guns, Optics, and Reloading. Today we're out here at Core Shooting Solutions. We're going to do a really cool video for you. We're going to be testing the Crony F1 against the Crony Alpha Master versus a Magneto Speed. So we're going to do these three because we got a lot of questions of, you know, which one's the best one to get, which one should I invest money in. So we're going to put all three of these together. Uh, we're going to uh, test them out, do some shots. We do two five, two, two five shot strings just to get the uh, difference in deviation and all that stuff. So you're going to like this video and uh, we'll give you some uh, answers as to which one we like the best when this is all done. So here's how we're going to do this. We've got the two cronies. The front one is the F1. Uh, the back one is the Crony Alpha Master. And then here we have the Magneto Speed. And this is sitting on my uh, Remington 260. Uh, it's a Savage Long Range Precision, Savage 12 in a Masterpiece Arms chassis. So we're basically going to be shooting out at 100 yards. I'm going to be checking this thing out, see how it works. So we've got two five shot strings through these things now. I'm going to be really honest with you. I am really not happy with the Crony F1, which is my old chronograph. Uh, the Crony or Crony uh, Alpha Master was a lot closer, uh, but hands down, the Magneto Speed, 10 times better than both of them combined as far as. Uh, on the first five shot string, the Alpha, the Crony Alpha actually got really close. The, uh, the Magneto Speed and the Alpha were very, very close as far as the standard deviation over the overall shot string. Um, according to this that I wrote down, uh, it had a stand, the standard deviation was 7.48 feet per second with an extreme spread of 13.73 feet per second. So the Crony Alpha actually did really good. The Crony F1, which is my old one, was terrible. It was extreme spread of 376 feet per second and a standard deviation of 186.3. Way off. On the second shot string, uh, and it is really hot out here too, so that could have a lot to do with it, the heat. Uh, it's the middle of July here in Florida. It's probably you know 95 degrees out here with 100% humidity. It's really hot. The uh, the second shot string, the Alpha still was close, was nowhere near as accurate as the uh, Magneto Speed. Um, yeah, the Magneto Speed on the second series blew the other two away. Again, the F1 had an extreme spread of 287.5 feet per second with a standard deviation of 144, which it was nowhere near that. The uh, extreme spread according to the Alpha was 73 feet per second, 73.19 with a standard deviation of 29.91. Whereas on the magneto speed, the standard deviation was only 5.4 feet per second with an extreme spread of 14 feet per second. So hands down, you can see the magneto speed is the way to go. Yeah, it's a little more money, but if you really want good, accurate results, I'm gonna say magneto speed hands down over these cronies. Uh, They'll work if you good at, you know, they, they, they work decently. But if you're like me, you're trying to build uh, a really good dope table for shooting long range, you definitely want accuracy. So hands down, I say magneto speed, get you one, you'll be really happy you did. 